Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix the Windows 10 error or blue screen for the NDIS.SYS system error you're getting on your computer, IRQL, not less or equal. So we're going to jump right into it and there's going to be a few different steps we're going to go through in this tutorial and each method should hopefully be able to resolve your problem on their own but I'm going to go through three different methods and the first two are the primary methods that I would suggest that you guys definitely pay attention to. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on it one time and you want to type in memory diagnostic and best match should say Windows memory diagnostic. You want to open that up it's going to say check your computer for memory problems. Memory problems can cause your computer to lose information or stop working. I'd recommend you guys select the first option after you've closed out of all applications and windows you have open on your screen, which will restart your computer now and check for problems. And like it says, save your work and close any open programs before restarting. Left click on that once you've ensured you have met those requirements. So this will launch the Windows Memory Diagnostic Utility that will scan your computer's memory's integrity. So this will take a couple of minutes, so you just want to be patient. And once it's done, we're going to move on to the next method of the tutorial.
Okay, so at this point we're going to enter in our computer password if you're prompted when you're logging into your computer. So let me put my password in here. You want to open up the star menu and type in device manager. Best match should say device manager directly above control panel. You want to left click on that. Now you want to go underneath and expand the disk drives area by left clicking the little arrow next to it to expand. And now you might have multiple disks in here, but you want to select more than likely it's going to be the one that you're having the hard drive issues on, and it'll probably be your first disk listed here. So you want to right click on it, and you also want to make sure it doesn't say USB device or anything like that. So again, you want to right click on it, and then you want to left click on properties. Go up to the Policies tab at the top, left click on it, and then underneath Removal Policy, left click inside the Quick Removal area, which will disable write caching on the device and in Windows, but you can disconnect the device safely without using the Safely Remove Hardware Notification icon. Then select OK. It's going to say your hardware settings have changed. You must restart your computer for these changes to take effect. Do you want to restart now? Select Yes after you've closed out of any programs or Windows you have opened. And again, for the disk drivers, you want to make sure you're not selecting a USB flash drive. So this is pretty straightforward. And then for the third method, I would just recommend disconnecting any peripheral devices you have on your computer. So basically anything that's connected to your computer through a USB port, like your speakers, your keyboard, your mouse. And just try plugging them all back in one at a time and seeing if that could resolve your issue as well. Now hopefully the first two methods, one of them should work for you, and I'd recommend that you try them all in sequential order. But I do hope this brief video was able to offer you guys some assistance. And as always, thank you for watching this tutorial. I do hope it helped you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.